Hot pot is my favorite, and you can make from home. Let me show you how to do that. Hi, this is Kelly. Welcome to my cooking channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a hot pot at home. When I have time, I always like to have hot pot at home because uh, I think it's more convenient. I can eat hot pot while I'm watching TV. And um, also, I love my own dipping sauce. And it's very unique and you can order this type of dipping sauce uh, when you eat at restaurants. So I hope you enjoy it. First of all, you need to make your hot pot soup base. This one is my favorite, the Sichuan spicy soup base, which you can buy from any Chinese supermarket. You just need a half of a package. It's quite spicy if you use a whole package. And the other one, I'm gonna use the Thai Tong Yum soup base. You can buy this type of sauce from Chinese supermarket as well. So I'm gonna do two different soup base. One, I'm gonna do the Sichuan spicy soup base, which I just showed to you um, with this sauce. And the other one, I'm gonna do the Thai Tong Yum Gong soup base. I'm just gonna use the half of the bag because it's really spicy. I'm also about half cup of the green onion. So this is for the Tong Yum Gong soup. And so I'm gonna use three tomatoes. And uh, here is um, about five or six um, white mushrooms. And I already cut them in chunks. So they're out for the Tong Yum Gong soup. So I'm gonna use one tablespoon of this Tong Yum Gong soup base and then a few lemon leaves and uh, the prawn I didn't take off the lamb because uh, actually with the shell uh, will make it even more juicy and delicious and the, 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 the prawns will absorb all the flavor from the soup. So now I'm gonna add hot water and just boil it. And cover it. When it's boiled, it will be ready. Now, as the hapa soup base is getting ready, I'm gonna make the dipping sauce. Let's go over the ingredients. This is a chopped suyang chow, chopped garlic, chopped green onion. You also need a soy sauce, vinegar, sashimi oil, and this is a sashimi vinegar. You can buy from any Chinese supermarket. Sata sauce, which is great for hot pot. Fermented tofu, it's a must for hot pot as well. And also I'm using a little bit grounded Sichuan peppercorn. Now let's make the dipping sauce. I have one guest coming, which is my brother-in-law. So I'm making three dipping sauce. So first of all, you need a one teaspoon chopped garlic for each one and one teaspoon sata sauce and one teaspoon fermented tofu for each and one teaspoon sashimi vinegar one teaspoon vinegar one teaspoon sashimi oil just a little bit of Sichuan peppercorn half teaspoon soy sauce, one teaspoon chopped green onion, a little bit of yang chai. and now make sure to mix everything evenly. I love those tofu sticks for hot pot. You just buy the dried tofu sticks from Chinese supermarket and then soak it for 10 to 20 minutes and then you can serve. When you eat hot pot, everything is served raw. The vegetables, meat, even wutong, dumplings, huan tun, anything you like. And you just cook everything in the center of the table where the hot pot is and you just cook whatever you like in the boiling hot pot and whenever the vegetable or meat is ready 
and then you dip in the dipping sauce and then enjoy. I hope you enjoy today's recipe and good luck.